If you have a workshop, a cricket machine, a home office, a laser cutting machine, some sort of mechanism to make stuff at home, then you may go on to Etsy and you may do what I do, type in the word customized and then you get back over 6 million results and then you go, ugh, that's way too many results. How on earth am I supposed to compete with all these people? I don't know what I'm doing. Then you give up and you sit in front of the TV. Well, that's not what you want to do. In this video, I'm going to share with you three niches that do make sales and they're great for people who do crafting at home. Let's check them out. Okay, the site that I'm on is called Everbee. It's a great tool. I'm gonna to put a link to this in the video description below. What I'm gonna do is on the left-hand side, I'm gonna click on keyword research, and I'm gonna type in here to the top, customized. And from there, we're going to see search volume is about 26,000 on Etsy. The competition's massive at almost 8 million. The keyword score is zero. That's not so great. However, there's related keywords underneath. And so I can click on the keyword score descending, and I can see there's a whole bunch of different options here that I'm going to start scrolling through. As I scroll through this, just keep in mind the link to Everbee will be in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link, and that just means if you click on the Everbee link and you wind up purchasing the subscription for this cool tool, I will receive a small commission. Niche number one is custom wooden name. We can see here on Etsy, the search volume 6,800. The competition's about 60,000, which seems like a lot, but we're gonna dig into that in just a second. The keyword score here is 110. Now the normal conventional advice when you go into Etsy and you type in custom wooden name is you wanna have low competition and high demand. Here there's actually a lot of competition. There's over 50,000 results. However, I wanna point out that when you look through, you can see the sheer diversity of things that are customizable with wood. So here's just a great example. This says Natalia or Elizabeth. These are Christmas ornaments, personalized name Christmas ornament. So if you have a laser cutting machine and you have wood, this is relatively straightforward to do. It's not insanely complicated if you have an X-Tool or some sort of a laser crafting machine. Here you can see this is $7.60. 10 people have bought this in the last 24 hours. You simply select a style like a Christmas ornament and then you include your name and you can put in a limit of 15 characters and they stick it into this ornament. Here's another one with a relatively high price point. This is a wooden disc and then they've got two fig leaf kind of idea and then they've got the name of the person for $48 Canadian, that's about $35 US. Nursery name sign, round wooden name sign. So you can select a size. Let's say you wanna do 18 inches. Suddenly the price jumps to almost $80. And then the stain color, they're gonna stain it. So that's the other beautiful thing about wood is you can make the product, not just the design, but the product really stand out. Here's a bunch of different font colors. Here's a bunch of different stain colors. So if you're into wood, if you really like working with wood, this is a great idea to have, you know, spend the days in the garage working away on creating beautiful works of art like this that you then ship off to very happy customers all over the world. Niche number two is decorative wall sign. Check this out. There's over 7,000 search volume on Etsy every month, and there's a little under 30,000 competition. Again, this looks high, but let's check it out on Etsy because this keyword score is pretty robust at 240. Okay, so I love funny designs, and here's a great one. I do not have ducks. I do not have a row. Play on the words, having your ducks in a row. I have squirrels, and they're at a rave. And this is like a block of wood, but you could also use metal, or you could use a uh, rock or glass, and you can basically engrave it. So if you have an engraving machine, this is $16.62, only four are left in stock, and they're in 20 plus baskets. So it could be more than 20, it could be 25, 30, could even be 100. Reviews for this item, you can see there's 337 sales at least for this one particular item, and reviews for the shop are over 4,000. Here's another one, custom street sign. So this is pretty much a metal, piece of metal that then gets printed, so you'd have to have a machine for this, obviously, in a workshop. It's in 20 plus baskets, and you can see here $16.96, and you can pick the size of the sign, and then you can also pick the suffix, which is way or avenue, that kind of thing. And then you can type in what you want. This is a great idea. So basically, reviews for this item, 782. So, I mean, this is a painted metal sign, but it could also be wood. It could be anything that you're working on in the workshop. And this one's a little bit raunchy, so cover your eyes if you're offended easily. This is a jar that you can buy at the dollar store with some rope, a cork, 
and then they've put the F word into a machine, they've ground it out in a wood shop, and they've stuck them in a jar, and you can see how tiny the jar is, it's not huge by any stretch, and this is selling for $18.49. So if you're interested in being in a workshop, you can basically team up with your spouse, one can sell them on Etsy, the other one can be all day long in the sweatshop and the garage working away on this, and you can see here reviews for this item, 400 reviews, and reviews for the shop, 445. So this item is almost making up the entire sales for the shop, and I say good for them. That's a nice looking item. It's very handcrafted, it's very niche, and it's really funny. So if you've got that friend with a sense of humor, they may really enjoy getting something like this. It's absolutely hilarious. Niche number three is handmade gift box. Check this out, search volume 1000, competition 1500. The keyword score is a very high 710. This is one of my favorite niches because of the diversity in there. Okay, when I type into Etsy handmade gift box, I'm gonna get back only 1,200 results with ads, which I think is actually really low. And there's a lot of really cool gift ideas here. I've actually sold gift boxes on Etsy over the years. I've teamed up with a couple friends and they go out to the dollar stores and they buy a bunch of stuff. I list for them. It's actually really fun. So we've done a team up and check out all these different gift boxes. And let's see what's selling here. This is a great one. $35 self-care personalized gift set. Check out the keywords. Remember, if you're listing on Etsy, you wanna make sure to have these keywords sitting here in the description. Corporate gifting, organic lotion bar, handmade wellness gift, check that out. Only four left, it's in 20 plus baskets. Here's another one, if you just like buying food for people, little box of sunshine sunflower care package, check out the branding on this. It's kind of all yellow, they've stuck a couple sunflowers in there. It's basically potato chips, some cookies, and then it's a nice card that says, hey, you're valuable, I care about you. That's a really good idea, $27.68. You can also select some dietary restrictions as well. So again, the customizable options here are really cool. And that's a beautiful looking gift. And I love the fact it's all kind of the same color because it's bright, it's cheery. $27, eight people bought this in the last 24 hours. Here's another one, relax gift set. And I love how they put in here right here, wife, mothers, bridesmaids. It's like, ladies, you have a tough life. Let's make sure you're looked after here. We've got a little teddy bear action. We've got a mug and some food in here, some cinnamon. This thing smells great, it looks great. It's only five left, it's in six baskets. Gift baskets are relatively easy to do. They're not technically complicated. You just have to go out and cost out what you'd like to make or what you'd like to buy. Make sure you can stick it in a box and make sure you maybe are buying like bulk boxes. Maybe you wanna buy 100 boxes so you know everything's gonna fit properly, and then you just brand it. Again, it's gonna take time, but if you wanna make sales on Etsy, this one's got 52 shop reviews at that price point. You know they're making some good sales and good for them. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful and fun. I love using Everbee. I find it's a really useful tool for me to find what sells not only on Etsy, but for other keyword scoring items like Redbubble, TeePublic, Merch by Amazon, Displate. It's a really handy tool, so make sure to check it out in the video description below. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your crafting journey and make some sales doing it.